A pleasure to have you join us today on the program Healthy Living. I'm Adisu Walsawage and I have with me a dietitian and nutritionist who is going to be talking to us about using, f using food to heal yourself because um, food seems to be the problem most of us have, particularly those who are suffering from one ailment or the other, putting in focus today, diabetes. We've come to realize that uh, a diabetic patient usually have problems with food. You know, food is so sweet, especially when it is prepared in a very enticing manner, and then the aroma. You know, it's so difficult to beat food. You need serious discipline. So how do you cope as a diabetic with food? That's what we're going to be looking at today. We're taking off, uh, we're not talking drugs, drugs, drugs today. We're talking on how to use your diet to help yourself. And how do you go about making that diet of yours good for your situation? So we have a dietitian in the house and he's going to be talking to us today on the program. So join me as I make welcome, Mr. Benga. It's Thank nice you, to have you yeah, on the it's a program. To be here too. Thank you. Thank so you. we're looking at uh, diabetes, okay? Because uh, from research, from the little survey I did, we discovered that that is one of the killer diseases in our society today. Yes. Regardless of age, regardless of sex, yes. once you have it, it becomes a huge problem. Yes. And dealing with it is very difficult. It is just a handful of persons that can add, you know, yeah. manage it for a while because of uh, food. Yeah. Yeah, Sometimes what I always tell people, you have to really understand what diabetes is mm. so people don't really understand what that please explain is. to us once yes, again because everybody yes. seems to know it yes. but the understanding is uh, a yes. difficult the, problem yes. they understand what i mean like understanding the disease itself is you thinking you have diabetes and then you know that okay it's high blood sugar, sugar. or glucose that i have mm. then you are running up and down that i just have to cure this thing and then they some of them actually have impression of okay if I take anything bitter, mm. it will subside of course. the sugar in mm. me. So I've been taking something sweet. Okay, let me subscribe to something bitter, bitter. now. Let's see, maybe I will get rid of it. But they don't really understand. In fact, every bitter thing, they have the part of sweet things in them too. Hmm. So when you are taking anything, just like I so was also something that, like, okay, every food we eat has sugar. Every, 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 every food, food, every food. So people, okay, uh, what do you mean? So if I take bitter leaf now, does it mean there's sugar, sugar in it too? Yes. So people don't understand. So the aspect of you know that I have diabetes, you should understand like, okay, there is something in me before that really helped me to get rid of sugar. Any food that I eat, I eat food after eating something I have inside me that God gave to me mm -hmm. that make me to eat any food and I get rid of them no matter how healthy, no matter how plenty, no matter how big is the food mm -hmm. that I ate yesterday my body still have the ability to make use of them mm -hmm. because God actually created on a perfect way yeah. then you understand that now maybe that because of age maybe that because of lifestyle maybe that particular thing because of your habits that thing is not available again. again. It's not working fine again. Then you now notice that, okay, something actually is happening to me right now. Then the sugar actually went up. Then you start to like go to the hospital. Then when you go to the hospital, they say, okay, you have, you've been diagnosed to, have, to be a diabetic patient. So what will I do? Then you know that. The doctor have already told me, okay, the thing that regulates that sugar inside you it's is 40. Yeah, that's the that's, that, that's insulin, insulin that your body produces to regulate the sugar and then pass the, you know, every food you will turn to energy. Mm -hmm. And then they pass to the cells and self makers of them. That's why you do your daily activity that you do. Then now they say, okay, you have this thing, problem has coming now. Then doctor diagnosed, they will not give you drop. That drop is artificial insulin that meant to regulate every food that you eat. But you must understand that doctor will not give you drug like go and take drug the way you want to take the it they take gave it. you the particular amount of drug that you should take yes, it means that the food you are eating too must go with the amount of drug they gave you taking. so that 
you will have normal glycemic. That's it. The, your blood sugar will normal. Mm. So that's, it means that you can eat every food. That's the implication. But you must have someone or see someone that will be able to calculate your food with the drug you are taking. That's it. Imagine it, it, it's that calculation that is the problem for most people today. Yes. You, you're taking drugs and then you're, you're not eating right. Yeah. You're not eating at the right time. You're not taking the, the right amount of food. You're not even eating the food the way it, sh it ought to be prepared. And it, it, there's so many things to go with all of this. That's why you're here today yes. to, like, you know, yes. educate uh, us. You know, I, I, when, when, anytime I'm talking to people, mm -hmm. I talk about varieties. Yes. That you must eat varieties. You have, we have food in our society. We have cultural acceptable food. Mm. That people okay, this is the food they like in my own culture. Yes. Where I came from. Mm. So this is how we eat our food. Eh? Fine. Does, now does not mean that because you are diabetic now, you move away from that food. From that food. No. That food, we see that food, that this food now, this is the group that this food belongs to. There are some food that we say, okay, they have high glycemic index. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Every food that you take into your body mm -hmm. that have ability of making your sugar level to go up. To go up. So that's food that, that food actually have high glycemic index. So sometimes say, okay, this particular food has low glycemic index. Yes. What does that mean? It means that this particular food now, it has the ability, after you take it, it has the ability of lowering or not make your blood sugar to go up. Okay. So we have a lot of food like that. So this, those food need to be explained to people that, okay, these are the group of these food that have low glycemic index. Mm -hmm. These are the group of people that have high glycemic mm -hmm. index. index. So people are aware that if I want to eat food now, these are the food that you come back together. Then what about preparation? Food need to be prepared in a way that after you prepare, it does not affect your blood sugar yes because that's some food some people say okay they ask me not to take this particular oil, oil. Mm -hmm. this oil is bad okay. this oil is bad mm -hmm. but they they, maybe they they actually like ask people which oil is good now you know and they sometimes tell, okay, they tell you take yeah, olive oil take, take olive oil uh, but they don't want, oil, yes. you know now nah, they don't understand that immediately no matter how good is that is that oil mm -hmm. no matter you fry it you eat it it's a, it has become hydrogenated Oh. So it has taught something else. So it means that when you are cooking that, and then uh, that when you take too much fat, it's actually break down to build energy too. It can actually increase your blood sugar too. Blood sugar. So everything you are taking needs to be calculated and need to be combined and prepared in the right way. Mm. So that you show that, okay, everything I'm eating now, then I'm having um, a kind of the calorie that are actually meant for me in relation or related to drug you are taking, which will be, which actually help you to manage your diabetes work. That's interesting. Now, you know, sometimes they say a diabetic patient should not take carbohydrates. Don't take this fruit and that fruit. Take protein. They find that a lot of them eat beans and beans and beans and beans. Would that not cause problem to them? It, it, this is surely it will, it will cause serious problem. You can't be living on protein. Because the way body, the way our body works, mm. our body spare protein to use as energy. What does that mean? Anywhere you have carbohydrate, body prevents using carbohydrate as energy than protein. It's only when you don't have carbohydrate in, in your food, then you have only protein. Mm -hmm. Then body, like, okay, it's only it's only protein that we have here. Then now convert that protein, you convert okay. that protein. To energy. to energy but it's actually easier for body to use carbohydrate as source of energy so when than we don't to use protein than to use protein but or fat but people don't understand this they are whole micronutrient but body recognizes carbohydrate as source of energy than mm. any one of them you know somebody who is uh, suffering from diabetes it's sparingly they don't you know the kind of food they eat you see them sometimes some eat like a pauper yeah. like somebody does not who, who, who cannot afford it but they can actually afford it but because they're trying to combat this um, sugar yeah. then you discover at the end of the day the person is coming down with ulcer yeah. the person is coming down with something else apart from that yeah. that you know they are trying to treat one ailment and they are coming down with yeah. another yes. one so how should a diabetic patient eat yes 
Uh, let me quickly, let me quickly, some, let me chip in something now. Malnutrition is the major problem in diabetes. Malnutrition. Yes. Hmm. The major problem. The major problem. And then it's actually, it's a as a result of don't eat this, don't, don't eat, eat that. that. So people are already forbidding all the good food. Good ones. When they see yam, if I use them, I swear walk, if they see uh, pandemia, the they said no. Rice, they don't eat it. Bread, they don't eat it. Some people even say, they say wheat is bad. Semo is bad. Mm. Some people like, they don't, they don't even tell anything. It's only beans, beans, beans. beans and in fact, some people even said, pap is bad. So, like, we have the, the, uh, the season of corn now. Some people run away from it. From pap. So, what does that mean? They don't have the proper understanding. The drug you are taking, that drug is to work on carbohydrates. Any food that gives you sugar, that drugs to work on it and regulate it and make you feel fine, make you feel well. And even though in some cases that probably when you have, your body does not pro, I mean produce the large amount of insulin, mm. then we can cause that because some people that have pre-diabetic, that person, well, even though they come to the hospital, they don't give them drug like that. They say, okay, okay. go and see the dietitian. Okay. Let them plan your meal for you. So when you, when they place them a, on a, diet, a dietitian is usually the last person. Do you get when they when people they want to go and say the hospital? Do you get because they don't follow it? That's what gives a lot of problems. When you tell people about food and they say, okay, food is not the food I've used to train my children. Mm -hmm. Someone come and tell me about food. So someone went to school and read food. To go what and does read that food. mean? They don't even know that. Even the drug you are taking, they have to work on food. If you don't take proper no drug will not work properly. They will not work. That's why Dr. Avi, when you take too much drug, you don't eat. You become so emaciated, you become so lean, you become so denatured and everything because you are not eating right. So people are running away from the fact that there's a sign that behind the food. So that how, is how, how should a, a diabetic patient eat? Yes. Now. Now, as I will say something about frying of good oil. Because Fry. someone said this oil is good mm. and then you buy good oil and you fry and it fried. you have already spoiled that oil then you are diabetic now you take the large portion of a particular food like pandayam now and you sit down and heat it remember the drug you are taking is probably 400 milligram mm. of hypoglycemic energy you are taking mm. and you eat more than the food that that drug will work on that, that your sugar will, will go up okay. not only that and you say okay I was, I'm actually afraid of eating food. Now. And someone tell you eat small food, eat small food. You are eating small food, and then the small you are eating is small than the food that, that the drug, drug is not proportionate on. with the drug you are you, taking. You, you, we have hypoglycemia, and you you started shivering, you started shaking. These are the these are the principle behind it. Then oh, they say I should not eat pandayam. They say I should not eat yam. Oh, my dear, you can eat yam. You can eat pandayam. You can eat amala. You can eat rice. You can eat plantain. You can, can eat any You food. can eat even the, you can eat the loaf rice. But need to be quantified. We calculate the drug you are taking, and then we make sure that your drug and the food they are they are, they are scientifically related. Okay, I don't want to see a dietitian. I don't want to meet a nutritionist. How do such a person calculate the kind of food you eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and what is the appropriate time to eat all of this? Good. Then, if I should talk about the uh, calculation on here now, it means I have to talk, I'm talking to probably I just pick a person, a particular person that has maybe that's taking 200 milligram of meth for me, or I just look at someone is taking 400 milligram of a particular drug. Mm. Can then, somebody actually take 200 milligram? It's take possible. Home? So mm. impossible. So that's okay. If, I, if, I, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm just trying to tell you, what about people that are taking more than that? They are taking more than that. More than that drug. Or some people are still taking like drug for hypertension. Some of them are actually. Okay, let's just let's just do an example. Uh, so general, that, yes, yes, general example, speaking. For, for example, now some people okay. If I say calculating or count calorie, I would like count calorie. Exactly. Good. What we consider in counting calories is this your age okay your sex okay let's say the person is uh, 40 let, let me assume that that person is 40 years old 40 the okay. person is like uh, maybe six feet tall it's okay good and, yeah, and, and and the person is uh, let's say male okay and what else 
yet let, let's say this person is taking drugs too. Okay, yeah. And then this person is very, very active. Mm -hmm. Because the amount of work you do determine the amount of food you eat. Oh, the food you eat, yes. okay. Because your food must carry you to do exact work that you do. The kind of do. work that you do. So we can play that way. Now, for example, that you just give like someone is 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Then I want to give this person a particular menu and he is diabetic. Yeah. Good. And that person is taking late as well as taking 400 milligram of okay. a particular so drug. So we see I have to consider the kind of job the person yes, does. Yes, because that drug works on the food. Okay. Now, for example, let's assume that this person is very, very active. Okay. And I place this person on a calorie, 2,000 kilocalorie. What or that calorie, what does, what does that mean? Calorie simply means that all the total amount of the food that person will eat. Person will their whole eat. calorie. Both carbohydrates, both protein, both fats. They are hopefully embedded. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, inside this 4,000 kilocalorie, mm -hmm. how many carbohydrates, how many, how many, how many amala, how many yak, how many rice is best this person will take? So inside that's, this, that, that's the quantity the of quantity, the, the portion. Person will take. Then, how many protein this person will take? Mm -hmm. How many fat that I'm using to cook this particular food? So inside this food, what are the food inside the food that has those mineral and vitamins and minerals? Yes. Oh, this food now, because this person must be on high fiber, because I'm trying to give the food that load in glycemic index these days now. I have to look at the food mm -hmm. that will not high in glycemic index. So that if that person takes small, because that person takes small, mm -hmm. it's actually equal to much of his particular food. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like I, I'm trying yeah, to it's small or this it's, is, <laughs> it's quite confusing. Yeah, yes, sometimes. it's small, like for example now, someone wants to take fufu. Okay. Yes. If you are taking 100 dera of fufu, it could be 200 dera of pandayam. Mm. The calorie you get inside 100 dera of fufu, oh, fufu. yes, yeah, it's times two of what you get inside Pandayam. 100 dera of, uh, of pandayam. pandayam. So the size does not really matter. Does not matter. Wow. So do, do you understand now? Wow. So that's the, that's the principle that behind this thing. But mm. once say, okay, you, I want to eat fufu now. That's why I say sometimes, somebody that doesn't really like fufu, that cannot actually control himself. Mm. He said, okay, don't even go there at all. Don't take don't, fufu. Don't go there. Because cassava is high in glycemic index. Hmm. So don't even go there at all. But if someone that can actually control himself, that like the portion I give you, you can go with it. You, you are can, okay with you it. Can, Why not? You can eat fufu, you can eat uh, eba. You can eat whatever you want to eat. But instead of not taking fufu, and I say, okay, if I give you amala, you will take times two of fufu, of fufu if you take amala. So if I give you pandayam, you will take times two of fufu if you take pandayam. But fufu has to be small. These mm -hmm. are the principles that are behind this thing. So now someone now come and tell you that, okay, food is not matter in managing diabetes. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> you can't just do it without food. If your food is not controlled, you, you, or anytime you go for a checkup in the hospital, your doctor increase your drug. Because you are not doing fine, you are not doing well. The blood sugar is not controlled. So this thing, if you have this, like I mean, a kind of sense belonging, you have this method. Okay, this is how my food should be prepared. Even though people that don't even some people that don't even have diabetes, they don't have anything. Now they are living on food because we've been going around and tell people, you have to have menu for your family, according to the age of your children. Really, I'm telling you. Then you are training them. But when you train them, when they grow up too. They are following that pattern. If you check the society, the people that have diabetes every year, it's increasing every day. The people don't even know for now that they have it. Yes. But it's something that comes because of lifestyle, because of the food that we eat around us, because of the combination, because of preparation. We have having issues. We have having problem. So these are the things that we are just like, okay, we will let people know that this is how it should go. You are taking drugs. Your diet must plan along with the your drug. drug. So you are fine. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, most times when you go to the hospital, you see your doctor, you do your check, you get your drug, you go, and your doctor say, be mindful of what you eat, yeah. and then you go your way. Uh, it is only seldom that people say, okay, particularly in government hospitals, it's okay, they're making a referral to, okay, go see yes, a dietitian. Go. In, in a situation where... Uh, the doctor is the doctor, is the nurse, is the nutritionist, is the dietitian, and all of that. Don't you think there's a huge problem there? Yes, because if you see the amount of patients that a doctor see in the hospital, you even pity them. That is the truth. 
That is the truth. Sometimes you have to remind it some certain thing. You have to ask for this thing. So it's thing. important to see a I'm telling you that you have to ask for this thing. Because imagine that someone wants to say about, about 50 patients outside waiting for him or her. And then you have to take like one hour, see you alone. Now, why should I see a dietitian? That's one reason, no matter the illness. Yes. Because no. you go, when you go, when you get to it, you say, okay, don't eat much. Like some persons even have bowl that they uh, use in measuring uh, their food. They just have small bowl, you know, self, self uh, diagnosed, yeah. or, or, or let's say self, uh, <laughs> self medication. Uh, self medication. Self you know, they have this diet. small bowl yeah. that they use. And we rely on Google. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. A lot of us rely on Google for whatever we want. Mm. You see people doing keto. That, that, that's the problem. You see people doing, there are some diet plan you find on Google. Yes. You find the keto plan. You find quite a number of different, different, different diet plans, particularly for diabetic patients. Then you see all sorts of tea, yes, of all sorts of herbal drink, all sorts of, you know, kind of food that you can eat. You know, I, I want to ask a question. Is that is that the right way to go? Yeah, it, 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 because it's, we find a lot of things. Just it's, okay, it's, it's, how to how to treat yourself yeah, if you have diabetes? It's, it's Just it's go to Google, yeah, yeah. and Google brings out a it's, lot of it's, things. It's, and you see, it's, some persons start practicing. Yeah, yeah, it's yet, it's yet the ailment persists. Yes, it's pathetic. I met someone that that, that that was a patient I saw last week. Mm. Then he came. He said, "I see these uh, apps that." She has been using it for so long. Ah, the, yes, phone, yeah. immediately that he passed that okay, he actually passed that this blood sugar is high. Then you just take that thing and then it will go down and everything. But now she's having crisis hmm. because then she, she believed that that app can do everything, everything. Because, it's, because it's bitter. Hmm. Believe me, that's the major problem we have today. A lot of things. So if you're diabetic, no matter the amount of better herbs you take, you can't even take it. Very soon you will see the result. If you are taking the herbs, very, very soon you will see the result. Just take it for two, three, four months. You will see the result. You can't use herbs to, to manage your diabetes. You have to come to the hospital. You're but it works for some persons. And you hear testimonies. You will hear testimony. But when, when they have complications, they will never come and share that complication with you. They will tell you their testimony, of course. You have to come to the hospital. This is, the, is, this is a particular disease that has to do with the food that you eat. It has to do with your lifestyle. It has to do with everything about you. The work you do now, everything needs to be calculated now. The mm. amount of food you eat, you eat food, you eat fine food. But immediately you are eating, you can even you eat in between, you will snack with it. But people don't really understand because the stress of coming to the hospital, like, I want to see that as a dietitian for what? But what good I can go online? Yes, of course. Of you can. course, now yes, I can just yes. pick my phone and Google and yes, then go what I want to. Yes, of course. Yes. Why should I be looking for Mr. Benga? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, you can go online, but believe me, you can't combine the right food. Even though people that actually put something online, it could be probably some of them that have seen that teacher before, and they say, okay, this thing work for me, and they put it there. Mm. But just for that person. You can't generalize okay, it. Okay, just for that person. Yes, Every, for everybody is individualized. Their own distinctive no, because you are not menu. taking it's not the same stage of diabetes. It's not the same type of diabetes. It's not the same. You are not it is not the same age, not the same activities, not the same amount of drug you are taking. Why would I take the same prescription for A and give it to B? It doesn't work that way. We are trying to tell people, when you go to some big teaching hospital, that's exactly what my CMD is doing now. You try to like, okay, everybody, you have to let people know, help, my, help people. Let them know, because in the case of malnutrition is, is just everywhere. People with diabetes, now you see them, the way they are looking, very tiny, you say, oh, if you see my picture before, this I was looking before. What will happen? That is, could be something that you can manage yourself. Mm. That means, that means those don't keep people, but poor management keep people. Now talk to me, planning meals, let's, let's look at in the mornings, because some persons do skip meals, they say, oh, because they are diabetic, they do water therapy, uh, no, no, no. they drink uh, warm water or room temperature water, a glass or two, and you say, that's okay for the day, then they wait till like uh, in the afternoon, you know, and then they eat small in the afternoon, and then in the evening or night, the food is skipped, you now do zero, one, mm -hmm. zero. That's for some persons, and some persons will just do uh, z uh, one zero zero, you know. And some other persons will just say, "Okay, I want to do just water, 
and fruit. Now tell us, a diabetic patient, whether male or female, we'll come and talk about that diabetes in children shortly. Now, how should breakfast be planned? Okay. What should breakfast, uh, 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 at least the breakfast tray, what should it contain? Yeah. The person is taking drug. First, have it at the back of your mind that that drug you are taking is mm. energy-consuming drug. It's mm. trying to break down the sugar and then pass to the cell. Now, you take variety of food in the morning. In the morning. Not just water. In fact, people that do that, they are, we, we, we used to start, we, where we tell them that these are the things that you don't do when, you, when, you, when you're diabetic. Okay. You don't skip meals. You don't skip meals. You don't even try it. It does not help. It's, it does not help you. That's starvation. Okay. That's number one. Then, in the morning, you have variety of food. You can take rice in the morning. You can take yam in the morning. You can take pap in the morning. As a diabetic patient. Yes, of course. You can take bread in the morning. Mm, okay. You have bread. You have pap. You have rice. You have yam. You have rice and beans in the morning with the right proportion. So is that proportion? You're not, you're not talking about I'm, that proportion. I'm, see, I'm, What's that right proportion? Yeah, you know, that? Just, What's that right proportion? But I just we said, want to know yeah, yeah, how I, much I just, this big, yes. this big, this big. You know, we need I, to know no, no, the no, proportion. No, no, like, how many, like, how many, okay, how many let, spoons let, of let, rice oh, you're going to take good, rice? You know, uh, how many spoons of beans you're going to take? Just make sure you are actually actually aware of spoon rice. How many, how many slices of bread if you have to? Then, then you know the size of the. You know, we just no, it's okay. somebody is okay. out there now <laughs> with that one. Okay, okay. I, I just said something. I just something, yes. I just something I said. Diet is individualized. I just said individual. It. I know, but if I, if I just, speaking if I, generally if I, if I, if I, now. If I, said, if I said okay, this person that let us know that this person is a farmer. Yes. He go to farm every day. Mm -hmm. To farm and he work probably for six seven hours. Yes. Then I'm telling someone to take four slices of bread, and whereas that person actually ought to take like six five slices. Do even though the person is diabetic, yes, of course, because taking drugs, it's working. Mm -hmm. Do you understand now? Uh, so, if I give that kind I'm of trying to, if I give that kind of person three slices of bread, that person will always complain of hunger. Okay, so you want to kill me? I'm taking drugs, I'm taking drugs, you want to kill me? <laughs> so, this will come. Okay, this is what I do plan my menu for me. Oh, so that person is, is a banker, you just sit down every time, and I give that person five slices of bread. And before you know it, this guy is, is going up every day, every day, every day. He says, oh, your, oh, oh, oh boy, your diet is not working. Your diet is not working. Don't tell me that. But I'm calculating, I'm trying to you know, quantify based on who you are. Okay, let's look at somebody who's already retired now. Okay. Somebody in his, in his or her 60s yes. is retired, is at home. Yes. The children are taking care of him or her. And the do mama or the papa is just at home. Does not do anything. A retiree. Good. Not doing anything. Let's 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 just start as a case study. How would you plan breakfast, lunch, and dinner okay. for such a person? And then, what kind of in betweens can that person take? Good. Good. And what time? I'm asking a lot of questions uh, now. Uh, if you forget to answer, uh, I will ask you uh, again. No problem. And and what's the best time for breakfast? What's the best time for lunch? What's the best time for dinner? Mm -hmm. I've asked you quite a number yes. of questions. Yes. Let me let me give you briefly talk yes. about the uh, retiree. Retiree. Now, that Somebody is 60 years. 60 years, years there about. Fine. And is she's diabetic or is diabetic? He or she's diabetic. You sit at home, flip through television yes. channels. No. When you or she have the time, let, you uh, take a walk. Good, you know. Good. Let us know that nothing that person, very. That person must not take that person take drug once a day. Okay. Let me even put it that way. Take mm -hmm. a once drug once a day. Now that kind of person needs to eat his our breakfast as early as seven to eight AM. Between seven and eight. Yes. Okay. AM in the morning. Okay. Then, the food to eat. Yes. The food to eat. Yes. That person needs to eat like uh I'm eating food. Okay. Pap is there as an elderly person. Because okay. remember, this person is elderly too. Yes, and, and just and relaxing. Yes, yes because the mm -hmm. body system of that person is not like a young person. Yes. I'm considering that one too. This person, body system, what kind of food that can actually go free? For that, that, person. Will, that person will not have, like, okay, I hit from Maybe the morning and, and, and stuff like that. Fine. This person take pap in the morning. What amount of pap? I use spoon. We have desert table spoon. It's 10 meals. So normally, what I normally use for people. That ten meals. The Tell me that the one, the normal one you used to eat at yes, all. Yes, yes. No, they're two types. Uh, a normal eating spoon. No, that's they're two types. Okay. That one that have a little bit big. If you think I want to eat, you open your mouth a little bit wide. wide. Yeah, but the normal one. The normal one. one. That normal one. Just take it like raw pap. Level it. Take about three and a half 
of that spoon. The level. The level. Put inside your cup. Add cold water. What Use is this cost that the person want to use? The same size, the same amount. Just level. Three and a half. Sixty years old. Remember, sixty years old. And above, yeah. Yes. They take that kind of thing. Mix it. Add milk to it. They can go for three crown. Or if that person is a very. This you know, one that you're advertising now, uh, Mr. Gwenga. No, I'm you not. Take uh, skim, no, 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 no. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Skim me. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not advertising for anybody. So, like, you take it, you add it to eat. Now, the milk you are taking, you can't even take that milk in excess because elderly people, they can, you know, the fat or cholesterol can easily accumulate it too. Okay. Have issue of that too. So, you have the, to be careful the same, with the measurement. The, the same that milk needs to be measured too. You take that spoon, you take two of it, add it to your bar. Make mm -hmm. your bar. Using that, that, that spoon. same spoon, level it, add to it. Okay, the milk now, liquid or powder? Let it be liquid. Okay. Or it could be powder too, anyhow you want to do it. But just two? Just two. Add it, yeah, full. add it to it. Full. When you add it to it, your pap is ready. Don't put sugar. It's ready. Then go for my mind. Instead of a carrot. Don't because I was talking about fried food the other time. Elderly yes. people don't take anything fried. They shouldn't take you, anything no, 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 fried. They don't need it. So go for my mind. And just take my mind like the, that thing of picnic. Okay. Empty. Just use to measure your mind. After you maybe you blend your beans, you grind your beans, you add all the ingredients you to eat. Really? So after you want you want to prepare, you use that cup should to measure. All be added into that moment Everything, that's going to be prepared. Just plenty of onions. Add tomato to it. You can put crayfish there. So then use that cup to measure it. Just one. That's the, 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 the milk cup the, now. The milk cup. If you're using lilon to cook your mama. I, I, it's not advisable. If you're you using nylon or you're using leaf to cook your mommy, I think just leaf is that. better because, yes, because doctors have told us that using of cellophane is dangerous. It, sometimes it's, they're right. Right, we actually like. So any, you can any, use any, leaf. You use lilac leaf to cook your mommy. Mm -hmm. Just pick one and a half of that. Of that, of that thing. Just you can leave for you can leave for thin tomato to that small one. Mm -hmm. And don't want leave. pick of that thing of pick make one. Yes. And thin tomato one. And that one thin and tomato half. small one. Okay, one and a half. One and a half for elderly people. Okay. With your amount of pap you are taking. That's the measurement. That's measurement. Okay. Your, that's your pap is set to. And that's good for breakfast. Breakfast. No, I do want pap. It's bread I want. Let me tell you today. Don't say, okay, I like wheat bread or something. You can take white bread too, but make sure it's sliced bread. Ah, uh, why sliced bread? Because we, we are quantifying. It's already, it's already portioned. It's already, it's already portioned. So when you take that sliced bread, as an elderly person, Two and a half is okay for you. So that together bread, don't eat it. No, you know, a lot of us is like that yeah, together bread. Particularly those of us who grew up in Lagos. Do, do yes. I get the area. Do, do you get? Just mm -hmm. take two and a half slices of that bread. Okay. And then take it with your, it could be like uh, like egg sauce. Okay. What do you mean by egg sauce? You are not frying that egg. After you, you prepare your stew. Egg. Okay. After you prepare your stew, break that egg. Add that egg, the raw egg. Mm -hmm. Cook it together with your stew. Okay, that means when you're making your stew, you should not fry the oil. You won't fry it because you have to, the, the grinded, the grinded the... tomato, the grinded pepper and everything, Put up, just pour it on your, inside your pot mm. and add oil to it on top and cook it so together. So there's no need to, all that shrink, shrink, no, no, shrink within the kitchen. Because we are, wow. of, we are talking of adrogenated now. Adrogenated oil. Now, <laughs> when you make your egg like that, you prepare your stew and then you add your, your egg, egg to in it, that egg sauce. Or you want to add your stew and your fish or you don't want fish like now then you want to take vegetable sauce you can use vegetable sauce to take your bread okay. after you cook your stew just cut leaf add leaf I'll to eat. eat so and boil one egg so people say egg is bad egg is bad egg is not bad okay if you can take two eggs every week it's okay every week every week two two eggs every week mm -hmm. so take one probably take one uh on the monday another one on saturday okay you are fine that's good that's good and even help you to say that they don't see well there's some things that egg that you cannot find anywhere because now we are working towards the immune system here that the people mm. we particularly by immunity if the immune system is strong they are fine they can take any drug they can be fine they can eat any food they have appetite to eat food so now egg is important for them Mm. They take it twice a week. So, I don't like pap. I don't like bread. You have yam there. Cut your yam the way they cut slices of bread. Okay, that, yeah. that thing. As thin as bread is this. Thing. Take the same two and a half. Or you take two slices. But make sure that that yam goes with vegetable sauce. Eat it. Have a lot of thin inside. 
So you are fine. Ah, I don't want yam too. I want to take rice. Cook your rice. After you cook that rice, take that same spoon. Just can that spoon. Level the candy too. Can't sixteen that has the that, that desert table spoon. Sixteen. Sixteen. And slight cabbage. Add cabbage to it. As many as you can take. Just add cabbage to your rice. The rice is very small. If you can that sixteen desert tablespoon, very small. Mm -hmm. But what you need to do, add cabbage to it. To fill it up. To fill it up. It is as, as much as you can take cabbage. Just take it to fill your rice, to fill the space of that rice. You are fine. Add that vegetable sauce to the whole plain stew to eat. Then I want to take Very interesting. I want to take I want to take rice and beans. Yes. Yes. I have to take 16 desert tables of only rice. rice yeah. So if you are taking rice and beans together, or you cook them separate, take eight from here, take eight, eight from, from here. here. You combine mm -hmm. the two together. You have your cabbage joint to eat too. Remember, your food you are taking now is high fiber. But the tendency of you having fiber in that food, you very so you are taking vegetable, you are taking cabbage. That's the fiber. Okay. So you are hardening it to eat. Those fiber they actually help to combat that the ability of that rice, the bread, the yam you are taking to 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 to, to, to increase your blood to sugar. Increase the blood sugar. Wow. So that's exactly what we are doing. But need to be portioned. You need to be quantified. You can't just sit and say, okay, this is how much I want to eat. Fine, you can take those one in the morning. And I said, your morning must be between eight, I mean, seven, seven and, and eight, eight. a.m. Yes. Remember, seven and eight a.m. Okay, just, just hold on. We're, we're not taking calls yet because I want Mr. Benga to, you know, tell us everything that we need to know. Just relax, okay, because some calls are already coming in. Just relax and listen. We're talking about diabetes and your type of food, how to use your food effectively to help you, okay? So go on. Now, I have a variety of food to eat in the morning. Yes. What about, what about, what about lunch? Because before, I've been like, okay, if I eat in the morning, I will not eat in the it's afternoon. Eat in the I'm afternoon. Because I'm afraid. Uh -huh. My sugar, my sugar, my yes. glucose, every time. This man, this man is panic. This man is so afraid of eating food. This man is reducing now. People are even asking him around his house, people around him. If he's like, sick. You, you, do you have HIV? Hmm. And HIV is not there. But this man is afraid of eating. He's dying. Now, your lunch, all I eat. You have a lot of food to eat. Yes. You have pandeyam there. Mm. Not only pandeyam. For lunch. For lunch. I actually eat pandeyam. You can yam. sit down and eat pandeyam. Mm -hmm. You have amala there. You can eat amala. You have unwrapped plantain there. You can eat on rye plantain. Oh, not only that. You can go for wheat and semo. Oh, what amount of yam? I mean, what amount of pande yam? What amount of amala? What amount of wheat or semo? I want to, because a lot of things on social media are wheat, because wheat contains something. Don't take wheat, oh, because yam, if you take yam now, don't take this, oh. Don't. I'm telling you that every food you are eating needs to be portioned. Look at me very well. That's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> All your food to be portion. Okay. I went to school. That's what I studied. I don't know any other thing in my life. It's only food. And anybody that says you should not take any food, please, you can come to UBTA. Come and see us there. I'll tell you the reason why you should take those food. Now, I want to eat semo. I want to eat pandeyam. I want to eat amala. How quantity? How portion is it? Fine. The same spoon. That you are using that, because the reason why you are using spoon. this is why you are using that spoon because every household have that, that spoon. spoon. It's very simple. You don't need to go and buy scale. Mm -mm, because you I said you go and buy scale now. You say I would like to go to market and buy. I've been waiting food before I eat food. But you eat that spoon often. You use the spoon to measure. To eat often, it. often. This is what we to eat food. And it makes it easier for you to do, do your do measurements. You understand now? Yeah. The same. The same that we use for amala too. Mm -hmm. After you prepare your amala, take that spoon. Okay. Can't it? That old woman, you know, we are talking about that 60 years old. Yes. Mm, I'm not saying everybody. Old. Of course. I'm talking about old person. That using old, as an example, that, yeah, yes. Yeah. Let that old man take 12 of it. 12. Level, 12. Just count it. Of that amala or eba or, or whatever small you want to take. Okay, not eba now. I say amala. Mm -hmm. Pandediam. So eba is not included in all I of this not, story. Yes, eba is not included. Because if I ask that person to take eba, that person, I have to make sure that that person take the amount of eba. Because 
you know here now they like cassava products uh -huh. that's the only thing we have do, do you understand now mm -hmm. if that person wants to take it i have to make sure that this person i really do thorough monitoring yes of that person so i will not allow that person just take it like okay and overtake it and overtake it. So, okay anytime i take a bar my sugar used to go up. okay we have a lot of complaint like that mm. now you take 12. you know the most interesting thing there that when you take swallow and you prepare okra and vegetable together yes together and have your big fish inside mm. or goat meat <laughs> and put it on top of on top of that small amala as many vegetable and okra that you cook it should be, it should be plenty oh, just put it on top so your soup should be you even realize it ah i eat good food today okay i'm telling you what people have already, people have already deprived people from eating good food over over the years so you can hit that you can hit agidi okay agidi you can, you can take agidi two two rub of agidi that's uh, uh, what we call akasa in akasa, this part yes. of the world yeah you take about uh, you take about two, two rubs rubs of two to akasa. three rubs because the one they are saying now is small small okay about three rubs just take it take it with your okra with your okra and vegetable how to do it if you want okra alone you want vegetable alone if you want uh black soup that black soup, you have to know the amount of oil you use to cook it. Okay. That's the major thing there. So the black soup is good too? Yes, good too. But you have to, the amount of oil you are using to cook it must be the calculated oil I ask you to use. Some don't even make it with oil. Yes, so people which now. Which is good. Yes, you get. So put it that way. Not only that. Unwrapped plantain is there, which you can take too. Two, two fingers of a No, 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 plantain. you might not be two fingers, but that, okay. you know, that plantain is not your two fingers. It's in, actually, you know, that plantain is in fruit. Okay. And it's a very long, and it's, you can say use finger for banana. Okay. Just now. So mm -hmm. you can only use finger for banana. So it's, it's sometimes it's, 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 it's normal when you have people trying to quantify your food for you. You can mm -hmm. eat that way. The same food that you eat in the afternoon. Yes. You can take it. You can you can take any one of them in the evening too. Mm -hmm. The same quantity, the same quantity, in the evening too. Which very very. Wow. Okay. Uh, we've been talking to Benga Ladipo, who is, you know, trying to teach us on how to eat properly. We're talking to those who are diabetic now because from research we've discovered that it is one ailment or sickness that is ravaging the world today as we speak and some persons are finding it difficult to cope with it and some other persons already have their panic button on and so they are running from pillar to post taking this medicine taking that drugs doing this you have been told today that your your food must be proportioned to the drugs that you take and if you do this you will be happy zero five two two nine zero five seven three is the number let's see if we can take a call or two or three before we wrap it up wrap today's show up and if you're calling please reduce the audio level on your television set or move away from your television so that we can hear you properly and do us a favor do not ask questions that do not relate to what we're talking about today it will help save time I, I doubt if we're able to talk about diabetes in children today because i really want us to take calls so that people will make their contributions okay zero five two two nine zero five seven three is the number that number is right there on your screen already okay so give us a call let's see how we can help you all right Zero five two two nine zero five seven three, and uh, only questions relating to this topic. Okay, quickly. Wow. Okay, hello, caller. Good afternoon. Hello. Thank you for calling. What's your hello. name? Uh, my name is Inwagata Nusahai. Okay, Inwagata Nusahai. Don't I know you? How are you? Very fine. Good afternoon. Good I afternoon. really appreciate the program of today. It's so Thank you. and educative. Okay. The, the dietitian has been focusing on the elderly people. Now, those of us that are young, we say somebody between uh, 30 to 45, what should be the general uh, approach to diet or eating that will make them be on the same zone of not uh, risking diabetes? Okay. Diabetes. Okay. So that's my question. Those between 30 and 45. What should be the general eating habit that would okay, just make gener general now. 
Okay, thank you, Nogata, sir. Thank you for calling. But I want, I want to, I want to believe something, even though if you want me to generalize it, because people at that level, that range, thirty to forty-five, remember they don't have the same height. Remember, not the same activities. Not the same weight. Remember, not even the same weight, and they're not even the same drug. But you can advise generally. Yes, generally. You now I've told you, like your food should be in that pattern too of of elderly people, but the, the portion, the, the quantity, quantity differ. differs. Because you are active now. Mm -hmm. You are working. I can ask you to go and be taking two slices of bread. Mm -hmm. um, and then ask you to take you know, two slices of yam. Or ask you to take you know, four dessert tables because of you're active. Because of the work you do. Mm -hmm. Because so the, the, more you energy, do. the more energy you, 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 you use every day, then I must, you, you must get it from your food that you are eating. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not giving you the right food to, to, to eat, it means that okay you can you can you can you can fall to people, the category of people that have malnutrition. Mm -hmm. Not even malnutrition that we show physically. Mm -hmm. There are some malnutrition that we call eating hunger. Mm -hmm. And some people that are even overweight too, so they are it's malnutrition too. It's malnutrition. Wow. So these are the things. And then sometimes in diabetes, like you they, some of them do have high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Because That's of the, the pattern, the way they eat now, the, the kind eat. of food they are said to be eating now. So it's good sometimes, like when you have someone that will plan your meal for you. Okay. Then that meal, if I say, okay, you go and be eating a particular food now, I'm very sure I'm betting you now. In the next two, three, or maybe let, let me just say, don't let me use waste. Let's say one month, you tire of that particular, that particular menu. Food. Then okay. it's for you to come back to that channel again and then give you another menu. Okay. So that you are not tired of all. Of food should be for a journey. Okay. So the young just eat well and then you tire of it. Say, okay, I do, I'm evil tired of this. I can't eat it again. Okay. All right. Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Hello. Okay. While we're waiting for that call, when is the best time for lunch? Yes. Lunch should be between 12 and 1. 12 and 1. Uh, I wanted to say something about it before. There, there, there's something that like we call food interval. Okay. You must allow the food you hear, you actually ate in the morning. Okay. You must allow your body to use that for All right. Let, let's quickly say this. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Is this person can eat cake? Is the person can eat cake? Okay. Cake. So that's oh, cake, a cake. Cake. Cake is not good though. Cake is uh, is part of refined food. Okay. which we ask them not to eat at all because okay. it has you know so much sugar okay but it can it can actually it can actually elevate mm. the blood sugar okay when, when, when next we meet uh, uh, we're going to talk about diabetes in children, children no problem. how to help using food okay uh is this one 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 yeah yes okay all right hello caller yeah good afternoon please tell us your name and ask your question can you speak up a bit Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Tell us your name. Speak up a bit, please. Hello. Okay, so dinner, what's the best time for dinner? Uh, dinner should be between 6 to 7 p.m. 6 to 7. I was 7. saying something about the feeding interval. Yes. And then the frequency should be like... Okay, hold on, Mr. Gwenga. Hello, caller. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, reduce the audio level on your television set, please. Okay, when you call in, just reduce the audio level on your TV set. I think we'll, we'll be able to accommodate just one more call, and then we'll call it later. We're talking about intervals between Yes, days. interval. At least you should have five to six hours before you take another food, like main food. I'm not okay. talking of snacks oh, now. Oh, snacks now. Yes, I'm talking of main food that you eat, your breakfast, your lunch, and dinner. You should give them five, at least five hours. So what can we, what, what can we snack on? You know. Yes, uh, you have to be fiber. You have to be soluble fiber. Fiber. It could be water soluble, but you have to be soluble fiber. Okay. And that's why you know some people, even like elderly people now, mm. I ask them to take one agidim between and vegetable because I've already calculated their food. Yes. So they take both young person, because that person eat every food in the morning. Mm. So this now have to be is it a uh, cucumber or garden egg? Or oh, garden egg. Okay, that's awesome. All right, let's see if we can accommodate one call because time is fast spent. Hello, caller. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Please reduce the audio level. Okay, we're not going to take any call that has uh, noise at the background, okay? 
I was hoping we'll be able to do one more call before we call it a wrap, but unfortunately we can't do that. For those who will want to like call us later, please call 08062111100. Okay, that's a nine. Okay, zero eight zero six two one one nine nine zero zero. Okay, zero eight zero six two one one. 9900. That number is easy to remember. So call that number immediately after this program and we'll be able to talk. For those of you who would want to know the special way in which you can cook your meal, you can contact me. Mm -hmm. At least I've learned that. <laughs> the special way in which you can cook your meal and then planning your meal, uh, whether you want to lose weight whether you want to like if you're pre-diabetic and you want to help yourself not to get to that point if you're diabetic already and you also want to help yourself using food there's no point in eating discriminate indiscriminately we've been told that in the morning you can eat like a king or queen in the afternoon like a prince or princess and in the evening you eat like a pauper okay if you eat like that honestly you will be happy, you will love yourself. Uh, in Ogata, you can also call this number 080-6211-9900. So call this number and then you'll be happy. We don't want anybody to be sick. All right? Everybody should live healthy. Life itself is short. So <laughs> why compound it? Thank you, Benga, for finding time Thank to be with you. us Thank on the program. Thank when you. next we meet, we'll look at diabetes in, in children, children yeah. and how to help them too it's using important. food because yes, most of our kids will give them everything that they want yes, and then we compound their problems yes. without really knowing what that child is suffering from. Yes, Not every parent knows that the child is diabetic yes. because they are children yes. and some feel that children don't suffer from diabetes. Yes. Lie, they do. Yes. Okay, so that we know all the soft drinks, yeah, yeah. cake like that child asks, yeah. and so many things. Let's see how we can help our children no too. Problem, no problem. Because if we do for children, they'll be able to grow yes, into good adults and then help themselves, yes, yeah? yeah? So when next we meet, we look at diabetes in children. No problem, no problem. All right, people, this is all we're going to do today. Thank you for finding time to be with us on the program. Call 08062-119900. I'm Adesu Walsawagye. Please be healthy. Your health is in your hands. Bye-bye.